Hello guys, let's now look at this organ. This is the liver of the horse. We are looking now at the visceral surface of the liver of the horse. As we learned before, to identify the different parts of the liver, we have firstly to find the impression of the right kidney. And if you look here in this area, you will find this impression, the renal impression, where the right kidney is located. Find the impression, the renal impression, you will know that this part of the liver is the caudate process. Find the impression of the caudate process, you have to remember that they are located on the right side. That means this is the right side of the liver here. Starting from the right to the left, the first part here, the big one here, is the right hepatic loop, which is not divided into two parts in the horse. We learned in other animals that the next part that we have to move from the right here to the left, describing the different structures and different divisions of the liver. And we learned that the next structure after the right hepatic loop should be the gallbladder. But as you can see here, there is no gallbladder in the horse. There is no gallbladder in the horse. That means you have to move directly from the right hepatic loop to the quadrate hepatic loop. This here is the quadrate hepatic loop. After the quadrate hepatic loop, more to the left side, starting from here, we have the left hepatic loop, which is divided in the horse into two parts, as you can see. That part located more than to the midline of the body is the medial part, and that one located laterally is the lateral part of what? Of the left hepatic loop. And now you should also notice that we are missing another part of the liver which we could find in other animals here in the middle. As you can see here, there is no papillary process. So in the horse, the caudate lobe is uh, it has it has only the caudate process so there is no papillary process in the next video i will explain a little bit more about the liver of the horse so keep watching here i would like to mention why the right hepatic lobe in the horse is not divided why the left one is divided into two parts we learned that in carnivores the liver is located somehow more directly on the diaphragm cranially inside the abdominal cavity that means all parts of the liver and the carnivores is affected by the movement of the diaphragm in contrast in the bovine we said that the complete liver is located on the right side, so it's not affected by the movement of the diaphragm. That's why we found in bovine that both right and left hepatic lobes are not divided. Here in the horse, the liver is located somehow in between. So that means the right half of the liver is completely on the right side and it's not affected by the movement of the uh, diaphragm, while the left Half of the liver, it is located on the diaphragm and it is affected by the movement of the diaphragm. And that's why the left hepatic lobe should be divided into lateral and medial, while the right hepatic lobe, it's not divided. Quickly, one more time, find the impression of the right kidney. You will find the caudate process. You know that they are located on the right side. You have to start from the right to the left having the right hepatic lobe, the quadrate hepatic lobe, the medial part, and the lateral part of the left hepatic lobe. Don't forget that there is no papillary process in the equine and there is no gallbladder. See you in the next video.